Thank you for joining everyone. It is Andrew here from IDB. CES has ramped up with a whole bunch of new products, including some home kit accessories and a lot of other stuff. But we're gonna focus specifically on the best and newest Apple accessories launched this year at CES. First up is the action sleeve from 12 South. If you wanna see a full review of this, we put a link below in the description, but this is the first sleeve for the Apple Watch, which gives you better heart rate tracking. In CPO, they launched a new OX case for the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus. It brings back the headphone jack and will retail later this year for around $59. Henge Docs launched three new ones specifically to work with the new MacBook Pros. That includes a tethered, vertical, and horizontal dock, all bringing with them a ton of different ports including pass-through power, Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C, gigabit ethernet, audio, USB, SD cards, pretty much anything a pro would need. Sennheiser released new lightning earbuds called the Ambio Smart Surround earbuds that actually bring 3D audio to a pair of lightning headphones. They of course have built-in controls and will be available the later half of 2017. Backtrack is a really neat Apple Watch accessory that's built into the strap. As that BAC in the name kind of says, it allows you to track your blood alcohol content levels. There is even another version that is completely standalone that'll sync with your iPhone. Alpine has released a new CarPlay aftermarket receiver, but it is notably the first one that supports wireless CarPlay. It has a 7-inch capacitive screen, retails for $900, and will be coming out in February of 2017. You may have heard of NVIDIA's GeForce Now program. It is a game streaming service that started off on their Android tablet, came to set-top boxes, and now is coming to Mac and PC. You will pay by the month based on hours of gameplay and the virtual PC that you are streaming from, and it will be available starting in March. Griffin pioneered a new MagSafe cable for the new MacBooks called the BreakSafe cable. Well, now they're coming out with several new products. A high-powered version that works for the new MacBook Pros with a 100-watt capacity. That will be available for $39.99 next quarter. Then there are car and wall chargers available for $39.99 and even an adapter that will work for USB type A devices for $19.99. Fleur makes an incredible infrared camera that simply connects to your iPhone or Android device. The new third generation Fleur has just as many practical uses such as finding a hole in a fixed AC vent or search and rescue efforts. And the newer version is even cheaper and has an adjustable part that will work with cases on your phone. Kanex had a big year this year at CES with just a ton of new products, starting up with their GoPlay Sidekick Gaming Controller. It uses Bluetooth 4.0 to connect to your iPhone, iPad, or Apple TV with 20 hours of battery life available next month for around $60. Up next is a trio of new Thunderbolt 3 items, the $149.95 Kanex Thunderbolt 3 Travel Dock, the $129.95 Kanex Thunderbolt 2 eSATA and USB 3.0 adapter, and the different versions of cable, a shorter and a long version, available for $29.95 and $69.95 respectively. Kanex also added to their Apple Watch line with a new dock that we saw a sneak peek before as well as the Go Power Watch Mini which is a keychain device. Then there is the USB-C power pack that they also launched which is perfect for the MacBook. A link from that is down in the description as it's already available. Promise updated their Apollo Cloud devices. They have a new 2TB option for only $199. Like always, it features AES-256 encryption and is optimized for macOS Sierra, and it's even cheaper than their 4TB version already released. OWC introduced the DEC for MacBook Pro. They say this has been in the pipeline for a while, but it actually replaces the screws on the bottom of your MacBook Pro to attach more or less semi-permanently to your MacBook, adding quite a bit of heft but a ton of extra storage and ports that you didn't have. Last up, we have La CA, which updated their rugged and D2 drives. They've been updated with more speed, higher storage, and of course, USB and Thunderbolt 3.0. These are some of my favorite drives, so I can't wait to get my hands on their newest versions. 
So that pretty much covers it. That's a lot of the great Apple tech that we saw this year at CES. Are there anything that you think we missed or what of these products are you most excited for? Let us know down in the comments all of your thoughts. Always give this video a thumbs up to keep the content coming. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.